Welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today we're gonna make lasagna. It's what you've been waiting for. This recipe is delicious and it's simple to make. It's great for vegans and non-vegans alike. So stick with me, I'm gonna do it now. ingredients that you're familiar with and some that you might not be familiar or expect to be in a lasagna. So ricotta cheese is one of those things that you need to use in a lasagna, right? However, it's very hard to find really good tasting vegan ricotta. So I'm going to use tofu. And it's really simple. You're not gonna even taste the tofu, guy. So I'm just using a firm pack of tofu. I got rid of the water. I'm gonna use a tofu press to get out most of the water from this tofu. And the tofu press will be on my Amazon storefront. I'll leave the link. So basically, you put the tofu in, put the top on, close it out to get your tofu in. I'm gonna just put that on the side for about 20 minutes and let the tofu, let the water drain out of that tofu and then we're gonna come back. And we wanna get that really dry. Remember with lasagna, everything's gonna be wet because this is a vegetable lasagna. So you know the vegetables, the water, it's just gonna make everything too wet so you really wanna make sure you press your tofu. Now if you don't have a tofu press, you could do it the old fashioned way. Wrap it in um, dish towel, paper towel, and just put something really heavy on top like a calf iron pan. You could use something like this to put on top and that will get the water out. Just let it sit for about 20 minutes. All right. All right, guys, so my tofu have been pressing for 20 minutes. Come in and look at all that water. So that's why it's important to press your tofu. Look at all the water that have come out of that tofu. So it's perfect now. Let's get this away. I'm gonna grab a bowl. I'm gonna add my tofu to that bowl. I'm gonna use a potato masher and I'm gonna mash that tofu down till it's almost smooth, but not, you know, too smooth. We're just gonna break it up, almost like the cheese would look. So we're just gonna break that up, get it into nice, small, small, small pieces. Again, just like ricotta cheese would look, that's how you want it to be. Ricotta, ricotta cheese. That's what I really wanna say. So those of you that's listening, that's my pronunciation, ricotta cheese. All right, so I use my muscles, I got that down. All right, so to this tofu, we're gonna add hummus. And for those of you who have made my stuffed shell recipe before, you know how this hummus goes. It is the best thing. I know it sounds crazy. Why would I use hummus? It's perfect. It gives it a really nice texture. The hummus that I'm using is from Trader Joe's and it's the garlic flavor. But you can choose any hummus that you prefer. I like the garlic flavor because it just adds the garlic flavor without me having to put garlic in it. But I'm adding the whole container. And guys, you will not taste any of this. Let me get a spoon. Because it looks like I'm being a little lazy here. So let me get a spoon, let me grab a spoon. All right. And I decided to make this lasagna at the last minute. So if you notice, I'm trying to go a little quick because it's dinner time and everybody's waiting for this lasagna to be made. But that's how quick it comes together. So I chose to make it now. And I was like, why not videotape the whole thing? Because I know you guys could use a good vegetable lasagna recipe. All right, now that I've gotten it nice and creamy, so come and take a look. This is what it looks like. So it's starting to look like ricotta cheese, right? But we want it to also taste like it. So I'm gonna grab a lemon and we're gonna use the juice of a lemon. Cause that's gonna give it the tanginess that it needs. All right. So half a lemon. All right, grab that in there. We're gonna mix that up. I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast because you know nutritional yeast is gonna give it even more cheesy, cheesy goodness. It's gonna give it that nice cheesy flavor. And I'm gonna add some salt. Let's add a little bit more salt. I think my salt um, grinder has been acting up. It's not giving me like really tiny pieces of salt, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. But we're gonna mix that up in there. I'm sure it's salted pretty good right now. 
All right, so we got that all mixed together. Once that's mixed together, we're gonna add some cheese. All right, we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. This one's from Trader Joe's. It's one of my favorites, but you can grab whatever uh, vegan cheese is your favorite. And I'm gonna add that to the mixture. I'm probably gonna put half of that. And then we're gonna mix that up. Put this on the side right here. Let me get rid of some of these things. And we're gonna bring in a 9 by 12 deep dish for bacon on the side. Let's get that out of the way. You know I gotta clean up, right, guys? And let's grab our filling. So I chopped some zucchini, <laughs> chopped some zucchini. I sliced some zucchini and some white mushrooms. We're gonna add that to our, our layers. I also have some spinach that we're gonna add to our layers. And I'm using lasagna noodles that are gonna cook when it's in the oven. So I'm not gonna pre-cook my lasagna noodles, but if you guys want to, you can. This is just easier for me than, you know, boiling the noodles and laying them out. I can't do all of that, but if you wanna do it, you can do it. I find that this works perfect. So, and I'm using marinara. Again, from Trader Joe's, straight together. We're gonna to put a little bit of oil on the bottom of our container. This is in the bottom of my lasagna dish. I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. Like I said, I like this one from Trader Joe's. It's the roasted garlic. Again, because I'm not using garlic in the recipe, I like that there's garlic in the hummus and then there's garlic in the sauce. So let's put a little bit in the bottom on top of my oil. Let's grab my lasagna sheets. I'm gonna lay those out, okay? One right next to the other. And then I'm gonna place another one right there, all right? Then I'm gonna take my ricotta cheese and I'm gonna lay that down. Just a nice thin layer. I'm gonna lay that down. Okay. And I'm gonna add my spinach. So I'm, I'm using fresh spinach, guys. Now you can use frozen spinach, just make sure that your spinach is dry. So squeeze out all of the water. I just like to use fresh spinach because when it's cooked, it just adds a just better flavor to me. But again, you don't have to. And what you see I'm doing, I'm just pulling off the stems because it's fresh. I didn't wanna cut them, I want the whole leaf but I wanted to leave the stems. So I'm just adding the spinach, covering on top of the cheese. Just covering the whole thing. I'm gonna add my zucchini slices. And I slice them thin enough, as you can see. So when they cook, you're not getting like really big pieces of zucchini. Because I'm 50-50 on zucchini. I don't love it, but I do like when it's against spinach and sauce and cheese. Who wouldn't like zucchini against spinach and sauce and cheese, right? So that's why I cut them really thin. All right, so we have a layer of that. Now we're gonna add a layer of mushrooms. Let me grab these over here. And this is probably the hardest part of this whole process. It's just laying out the vegetables but I laid them out so they look really, really pretty. And I just use a knife to cut my mushrooms where on the zucchinis, I use a mandolin to cut them to get them like perfectly thin. So you might wanna invest in a mandolin in your kitchen if you haven't already do, done so. Mandolins are really great, especially to um, um, make salads because you can like shred everything down to the, like, the perfect size. Okay, so we got our mushrooms. And it looks like we need like one more over here. Okay. So we're gonna add a little more sauce and then we're just continuing to lay it up. All right, so I added another layer of pasta, my uh, lasagna sheet. And now I'm just adding more of that ricotta cheese that I made. And I'm just continuing the same process over again. So what I did on the bottom, I'm doing in the center. Added my cheese, okay? And then I'm gonna 
do the same thing over my spinach. Just add in sauce to the top of the second layer. Okay. And then we're going to add another layer of our pasta sheets. This time I'm just going to go all the way across. Let's move this one over. We're just going to go all the way across. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to add the rest of my ricotta. And I kind of add it at the junction of the, the, the pasta to kind of seal it together because I know when it starts to cook, that will act as a glue to kind of seal it. So I make sure that I have enough of that ricotta cheese to hold the pasta together. And then I kind of spread it out. So this part is probably going to be a little thinner when it comes with the cheese, but I'm going to also add another cheese to it. So this top layer here is going to have a, two different kinds of cheese. I'm going to add a little bit of mushroom and some sauce. Okay, so we're not going to add spinach to this one, but we're going to add the rest of the mushrooms. Okay. So whatever is left, we're just adding it to this part of the lasagna, okay? Now I'm gonna grab my other cheese, and this is the mozzarella cheese. This is the more of the stringy, stringy cheese. This um, cheese is not like the Parmesan. Parmesan has like more of a cheese flavor. The mozzarella has more of the stringy, gooey, gooey goodness that you guys know that comes from lasagna. So we're gonna add that right there. So I'm gonna add the tomato sauce almost the remainder of my tomato sauce to the top to complete it, but that's gonna keep it moist. Okay, the cheese is already in there. And then I'm gonna grab some foil. So we're gonna grab some aluminum foil and we're gonna cover it all up. So we get the foil on. And don't worry guys, I'll have all of the ingredients listed below. I'll also have the temperature for the oven and the times for the oven, which I'll probably have listed on the bottom. But let's pop this in the oven now to let it cook. I just wanna be able to give you the exact time because you know, sometimes it varies because I usually don't do measurements. But we're gonna place this, this baby right in the oven. Let's close it up and let's put the timer on. All right, I think the lasagna is ready, so let's check it out. Ooh, it's hot. Okay. Let's grab this baby. I'm gonna put it right there on my usual cutting board. Let's close this up. Okay, let's take the foil off. And it's hot, it's sizzling. Ooh, look how pretty. Come in, take a look. That is my lasagna. There it is, guys. So I'm gonna let this cool down before I taste right, it. Guys, I gave it a couple of minutes to cool down, so let's dig in. Let's grab some of this lasagna. All right, let me get this little piece right here. Okay, let me get it on a plate. Put that right there. It's still a little bit hot, but you guys can see. See, the pasta has cooked, but like I said, you can use your own cooked pasta, but this actually cooked in the oven process, which is really good. I think this is still a little bit hot, so I'm just gonna take a little piece, okay? Okay, it's not that hot. I can take the whole thing. Ooh, it's good. I'm gonna take the whole thing. Mmm. This is good. You guys can make this. You saw how easy it was. It was super easy. I'm gonna eat some more, because it's really good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys. Here's your weekend recipe. Super easy, super tasty. It has vegetables, cheese, and sauce. What more could you ask for? Thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Try the recipe. It's really easy. It's good for a nice, if you have a nice little gathering, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the little bell so that you will get the reminders whenever I come out with a new video. But here you go, guys. A super easy, tasty vegetable lasagna. Absolutely delicious. See you next time, guys. Bye.